I feel dirty? The Handmaiden, released in 2016 and is directed by Park Chang-wook, who's directed such films like The Vengeance Trilogy, Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy, Lady Vengeance, and Snowpiercer. And this film stars Kim Min-hee, Kim Tae-ri, Ha Jun-woo, and Cho Jin-wong. And I like to put this out there, whenever I start off a review of a South Korean film, I am terrible with foreign languages, so I am trying my best to pronounce them correctly, which I'm sure I'm not doing, so if you love comments on my videos, please just go easy. Go easy on me. I'm trying, and I mean no offense. A con man operating by the name of Count Fujiwara plans to seduce a Japanese heiress named Lady Hideko, who is living with her abusive uncle Kazuki. But Fujiwara only plans to marry Hideko to steal her money and lock her in an asylum. And in order to help him do this, he hires the help of fellow con artist Suki to be her handmaiden. However, like with any type of con artist, there are some other plans being conceived behind several of the characters' backs. So I went into this movie not knowing any. Anything. I didn't watch a single trailer. I looked at a couple of reviews and looked at the Rotten Tomatoes score, which apparently this movie has an amazing one. I think it's like 96% or 98% of critics love this movie, which again, I try not to focus on because that number is pretty skewed. So I went into this expecting... A a lot of great things. I have had several South Korean films recommended to me on this channel, films that I never would have in a million years have picked off of the shelf to watch. Not because I don't have anything against South Korean films, it's just that, well, when it comes to branching out to foreign films, I'm a little timid when it comes to that. I don't know, I don't know where to start. But this channel has given me the opportunity to watch such amazing films like I Saw the Devil, Train to Busan, Old Boy, and there are some other films that are coming up soon too. So I was very excited to check this one out. Sadly though, I was not not digging this movie. I wasn't feeling a connection with anyone in this film when it comes to any of the characters or even to the plot. I, I, this plot just didn't seem elaborate at all to me. So this con man is gonna try to seduce this heiress so that he can get all of her money, lock her in an asylum because that's what men can do apparently. In order to do that he needs the help of a fellow con con maiden, like a handmaiden, to be a handmaiden to the heiress. But what I wasn't expecting is that the handmaiden and the heiress actually start falling in love with each other. And the reason why their relationship starts blooming, I'm actually a big fan of. The heiress is a part of this abusive relationship with her uncle, and her uncle owns like the world's largest collection of smut books, where they only discuss sexual encounters, and we're talking like some really fucked up shit. And he forces her to read them and act out all the sexual acts in front of all of these really uncomfortable, disgusting men that come to the house every once in a while. It made me actually very uncomfortable watching those scenes. So seeing her repressed in a relationship like that, and seeing this handmaiden coming along, doubting on her and serving on her, yes, I totally buy that that type of relationship would start happening. To the part where they start acting out on those desires and have sex with each other. Which I've been vocal on my channel before. I love a good sex scene. I think sex gets a bad rap a lot of the times. However, here... It made me feel uncomfortable. There is a tasteful and artistic way to show a sexual relationship on screen when it comes to film, but how it was being shot here, it didn't felt artistic to me. It felt like they were shooting these scenes for a couple of sites online. Which I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with those types of sites, but here it just seemed awkward. And I just kept picturing in my mind that there is this male director just sitting behind the camera letting this this sex scene go on, and it goes on for a while. Like, it doesn't cut away artistically, or it doesn't give us, like, a taste of what's happening, and then it moves on to the next scene. No, we linger on this for a while, which is why I'm thinking, was this supposed to be uploaded somewhere? I don't know, it just made my skin crawl thinking that that was happening. Again, I don't know the director, Park Chang-wook. I haven't heard any stories about him being inappropriate with the actors and actresses on set. But to me, as an audience member, watching these scenes, go on for a very long time and knowing that he's just behind the camera watching this, all I can think about was just him being in a tent somewhere going, <laughs> I like this scene. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion, but that's my opinion. This is my channel, so sorry. And then on top of that with this plot, 
it didn't seem that elaborate to me. And it's hard to talk about it without going through spoilers, so I guess from here on out, spoiler alert. So the con man seduces the heiress, and supposedly he's gonna lock the heiress in this mental institution. But the mid-act twist, I guess, is that they actually throw the handmaiden into the mental institution, and the heiress was behind the whole con the whole time. So now the con man and the heiress are splitting the cash 50-50. But then come to find out that the handmaiden and the heiress have their own plot, so the handmaiden escapes from from the mental institution, and then they go and they they drug the, the con man, and he passes out, and they steal all of his money, and then he gets all of his fingers chopped off by the weird abusive uncle, and it's it's, it didn't seem like that elaborate to me. And actually, this plan relied a lot on convenience. Because if that handmaiden doesn't make it out of the mental institution, that was, he, he can't, he can go as, this doesn't make sense. However, pulling things from what I like about this movie, the cinematography, I think is beautiful. We see beautiful shots of cliff sides and the ocean and cherry blossoms that are just, they're stunning on screen. Everything else about this movie, I just wasn't digging. This actually took me three attempts to watch because I kept falling asleep or I just got bored out of my mind and turned it off. When you have to start and stop, three times to finish a movie, that is not a good sign. I just wasn't a fan of this movie at all. Now that hasn't turned me off to watching any future South Korean pictures out there because this is the first little divot that I've encountered on my journey with South Korean pictures. But if I have the chance to never watch this thing again, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna give The Handmaiden one and a half out of five Blu-rays. No, sir. I didn't like it. All right, everyone. Now comes my favorite part in my videos where I randomly select which movie I'm gonna be watching next. So let's take a look. The theory of everything, where we're about to science the shit out of this thing called live. I've actually only seen this movie once, and I remember thinking that this movie was just so delightful, and it rests on the back of the chemistry between Eddie Redmayne and Felicity Jones, and I thought both of them were stellar here. And then not to mention the physicality that Eddie Redmayne had to go through to portray Stephen Hawking. I think it's a great film, and I'm excited to watch it again. So thank you very much, Hang Wan, for the recommendation. If any of you have recommendations of films that you want me to review on here, please leave a comment below this video or go to my Facebook page, my Instagram, or my Twitter. Leave your recommendation there, and if I have access to it, I will watch, review it, and give you a shout on the channel. So guys, have you seen The Handmaiden? What did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before, and you stumbled across it because of this video, please comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And if you like what you saw here, if you like my take on movies, then hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot with growing this channel. And if you have friends, if you have family members that also love people talking about movies, then send them over my way and have them hit the subscribe button. And remember, if we hit 1,000 subscribers, I will reward everyone by recording myself watching Arachnophobia, which is a movie that I have been scared to watch ever since I was a child, because spiders scare the living shit out of me. And that movie has a lot of them that kill you, like, instantly on one bite. So, yeah, it's scary. So, everyone, I will see you next time with my review of The Theory of Everything. So, in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.